Sev Trev. We're doing our devotions. We're in chapter 17. And verse 9 says, As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus instructed them not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. So the question obviously would be asked is, why can't the disciples tell the other disciples? Or why can't they tell the crowds, the people that come to hear Jesus? Why can't they tell them this incredible experience that they had where they saw Moses and Elijah, the heroes of the faith, and when God came into their presence and spoke to them, um, because the people would react just like Peter did, because they are awaiting the Messiah, and um, who was going to free them from their enemies, and Peter thought it's going to happen, and the people would have thought the same thing, because they all waiting for this Messiah who was going to bring back the golden age, the days of David and Solomon where they had peace on the enemies and where they where the blessing of God was so strongly upon them. They are not awaiting a Messiah who is going to die on a cross to save them from their sins. And so that's why Jesus says to them, Don't tell anybody about this until I've raised from the dead, because then they would understand it. The disciples asked him, why then do the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? So as they now leaving, as they're coming back <coughs> to be amongst the others, um, Peter, James and John asked Jesus about this question then. Lord, because they're thinking the end has come. So they say, why did the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? Now the teachers of the law thought that Elijah would come and he would prepare the way for the Messiah. He would make all things right. Um, and they got it from Malachi 3.1. I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple, the messenger of the covenant. Who you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. And Malachi 4.5. See, I will send the prophet Elijah to you before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. You see, the teacher of the law, as in so many occasions, didn't understand the word of God properly. Because Elijah doesn't come with the first coming of Jesus, when he comes as Savior, but he comes in the second coming, when Jesus comes as the judge of the world. In the great and dreadful day, Elijah comes during the tribulation period, but they did not understand this. Jesus replied, to be sure, Elijah comes and will restore all things. But I tell you, Elijah has already come. And they did not recognize him, but have done to him everything they wished in the same way the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. And so John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah. He came to, to prepare the hearts of people. Repent of your sins for the kingdom of God is at hand or the kingdom of God is near yet we see that they killed John and Jesus said just as they killed John the Baptist so they are going to kill me then the disciples understood that he was talking about John the Baptist to me it's almost a miracle they've understood what Jesus said because usually they didn't understand him Yet, even though they understood Jesus was talking about John the Baptist, they did still not understand that he had to die. It's like it just went over their heads because it didn't fit in with their theology, not for one second, until Jesus rose from the dead. And we see that in 2 Peter 1, 16, it says, For we did not follow cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of His majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father, when the voice came to Him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven, when we were with Him on the sacred mountain. And so Peter then shares in the second Peter about this occasion and he shared this after the resurrection of Jesus friends can you like Peter say I am a witness of Jesus Christ 
Peter heard God speak. He saw Jesus. He was with him every day. We have not seen him. Yet, if we know him, if we are his children, then he has revealed himself to us because we were in darkness and now we're in light because we not only read about him, but we believe that he died. We believe he rose again. We believe he's seated at the right hand of God. Why? Because he lives now within us. And so today my encouragement to you is, just like Peter testified about Jesus, I challenge you today to testify about the goodness of the Lord in your lives to a friend or a family member. This is Rev Trev. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.